Hi guys. Let's see what I did there. So in this video today we're going to be looking at some of the basics to the electric system in the game. It's not going to be super in-depth but I am going to go over some of the more complicated uh, things that you can use to make stuff like this and of course switches to turn them off. So let's get some basics down first with the electricity. So electricity is pretty simple. You have a tool. It is called the electric tool pack and you use it to connect wires such as this output to this battery which will begin to charge from the solar or excuse me from the wind generators. Um, this is called a coupler. The coupler can take multiple inputs and send a single output somewhere that you need it to go so you could have multiple generators going to this coupler to go into this battery like we have here. Same thing with solar, uh, it's the same deal. You connect the output to either straight to a battery, straight to a machine, or to a coupler or a splitter. If you want to split the pattern, we'll go into that over here. So this is uh, just a quick tip something that we like to use is we connect up the fluorescent lights to uh, when we cook up like a single machine and so that way if the generator goes off or runs out of fuel you have an indicator that that is the generator that's out of fuel it does help us so hopefully that helps you guys out too um, so this is this is kind of the setup I have here these are three generators that are going into a coupler put into a splitter which means that we have the 240 and the 240 and the 240 here from the generators going out at 719 because the the splitter itself does take one power into this uh, input into the splitter. So coupler, three power inputs, one power output to a one power input to a three power output. And then at this output from this splitter that I have here, I have it going down over here to these three batteries so these three batteries would be being charged if they weren't already charged but and that's pretty much what's happening with the um, the system here and then I actually have this these three batteries going into a coupler coming out into a switch and this is how the switch works you have a uh, input here then you have your switch then the signal output to your the item that's using it when I hit the switch the light comes on the switch off the light goes off and that is the circuit breaker I call it a switch most of the time because that's pretty much what it is uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and then they, we get into the some of the more complicated things like this is a timer if you hold F on it you can reset the timer to whatever interval you want I have it on two seconds and if I hit confirm when I turn this generator on, every two seconds, this light will strobe. So the way this works, you put the input power into the input there. Then you have a signal output, which is put into the input of the item that you're wanting to put this in. Then you take the output of that item and put it into the reset. So what that does is the output sends the signal the signal goes through the output, the output goes through the reset, and every time it does it, it resets the timer. It's pretty neat. You can do that, you can do use this in a bunch of different situations. Um, I'm going to turn it off right now because it does get aggravating. This is the counter. Uh, this, this can be used so, like, if you were to put this fluorescent light into this, the counter, you can then set the reset back over to here from the signal output and whenever it counted this light flashing say five times it would send a signal from the output into the reset so then it would reset the whole system to do it five times again all right now this is one of the cooler ones i really like this uh this is um this is yeah probably one of the coolest ones that you have so this is the uh the infrared the uh, laser love it it's pretty cool so the generator's on but you notice the light's not on but if I step into it light comes on very good indicator you know you can put these out around your base you know um, use a bunch of lights and if somebody you know is there they walk into it bam 
you know something's out there. Something's got to be around your base. It's pretty cool. Um, then there's uh, also the pressure plate. The pressure plate's really cool. I have it set up from the uh, output from the generator to the input on the splitter. And the splitter goes from the output to the door. But then, and also, excuse me, also the output to the power of the actual plate. And then we have a signal output here that we've put into the door. So say you're defending your base from the bad guy or the, the you know whatever you need to use it for. You bam, come over, pop, 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 pop. Come back in when you get hit a few times behind the safety of a wall. Heal up, come back out, do it again, um, and then you have you have cover. So that's a pretty neat system, and and that's pretty much everything that I'm going to go over today. There's a lot of more complex stuff. You have your and, not, or um, uh, gates that you use. We'll cover those in a different video. We'll also cover uh, the remote switch as well as the receiver in another video. I just wanted to get some basics down so that everybody understood how some of this works and including some complicated stuff. I hope this video helps you guys out and uh, I hope you have a nice day.